Hello everyone, we are Life Replicon. Welcome to our channel. So in today's video, I will be explaining and demonstrating how to use a gradient PCR. So before going into gradient PCR, it is important to know the concepts behind gradient PCR. So you might be knowing that in normal PCR there are three steps that is denaturation, annealing and extension. So annealing temperature is the temperature at which the primers bind out to the template. The annealing temperature is dependent on the melting temperature of the primers. So what is melting temperature? Melting temperature is that temperature at which the half of the DNA gets denatured or dissociated. So there is a common assumption that we can set the annealing temperature based on the melting temperature that is the annealing temperature will be almost 5 to 7 degrees Celsius less than the melting temperature. But by this method we can't find an optimal annealing temperature. Why do we need an optimal annealing temperature? If the annealing temperature is very low it will cause non-specific amplification that is the primer will bind out to different regions on the template and if the annealing temperature is too high the primer won't bind out to the template and it won't give any amplification. So it is important to know the optimal annealing temperature. So that's why we use gradient PCR which is a variation of conventional PCR which is used to determine the optimal annealing temperature. So for example if you have designed a set of primers for your target gene but you don't know the optimal annealing temperature. You can't be doing uh, different PCR reactions to decide which annealing temperature will give you specific amplification. So it's important and uh, as uh, that process will be time consuming and very hectic. So it's, uh, in grading PCR it is easier as you can set different annealing temperatures in one PCR reaction itself. So I will explain how to use grading PCR. So now I will demonstrate how to set up gradient PCR. So uh, now we are going to start a new protocol. So how to set up a thermal profile uh, you might have learned in the from the previous video and if you haven't watched it please do watch it. So uh, in order to set up the gradient PCR first you have to select the annealing step. So in this case the third step is the annealing step. Then you have to select options. So, so you can see the gradient option uh, you have to select it. You can select two annealing temperatures for the back row and the front row. The front row denotes the lowest temperature and the back row denotes the highest annealing temperature. And the machine will show different annealing temperatures in between them. As you can see A, B, C, D, it's, it's written like that. It's A, B, C, D it denotes uh, different rows in the PCR. As you can see there are eight rows. And on the screen you can see that the A row it will be having 65 degrees Celsius of annealing temperature. So if you want to perform a PCR reaction 65 degrees Celsius you have to keep your PCR sample at the A row. Likewise uh, the B, C, D all have different annealing temperatures. And based on your preferences you can select the annealing temperatures and uh, do your reactions. So you can see that uh, in one PCR itself you can perform the reactions at 8 different annealing temperatures at a time. This will reduce uh, the time needed and uh, it will give us a specific amplification within this annealing temperature. So after uh, setting up the profile and keeping our samples you can press on OK and then you can run the protocol and it will remind us uh, how much microliter reaction you are using so and based on that you can press you can start the reaction. So this is how we uh, set up the gradient PCR. Now after the reaction is completed uh, you can check the PCR products in agarose gel and see at what annealing temperature you get specific amplification and uh, based on that uh, the annealing temperature for the primer can be selected. Hello, I am Vinay. Hi, I am Akshay. Thanks for watching our video. Please, Please like, share, share, subscribe to our channel. channel.